Hello viewers, I am happy to meet you in this uh, Swayam online course Child Development Underscore Education January 2025 Semester Examination Orientation. I am Dr. S. Prakash, Principal, Tyagarajar College of Preceptors, Madurai and the course coordinator of this program Child Development Underscore Education January 2025. The Child Development Underscore Education course was initially started in the Swayam MOOCs platform in the July 2018 semester. 4,537 learners enrolled for the course. The second cycle started in the month of July 2019 and we had 10,887 student enrollment. The third semester occurred in January 2024 with 5,869 enrollment and currently we are in the fourth cycle in the semester of January 2025 where we have a record highest enrollment of 29,608 learners for this course Child Development Underscore Education. And this is the home page of the Child Development Underscore Education course. The course status is ongoing, core type, uh, language is English and duration is for 8 weeks and it comes under the category Teacher Education with 2 credit points with an undergraduate level and the course started on 9th January 2025 and uh, the end date was 30th April 2025. The enrollment was over on 28th February 2025 and initially the exam date was scheduled on 17th May 2025 but due to uh, uh, enormous enrollment the examination date is postponed from 17th May 2025 to 31st May 2025. This is for 8 weeks and you can see the course layout in the screen now. In week 1 we had 3 modules, week 2 3 modules, week 3 3 modules, week 4 again 3 modules, week 5 4 modules, week 6 4 modules, week 7 4 modules and week 8 3 modules. Overall 27 modules comprises of this course. And the course passing criteria, this is a very important uh, slide. Uh, the overall score is 100 in which the internal comprises of 30 marks and the external comprises of 70 marks. The internal is, on the, is about the quiz and the assignment uh, which you perform during the period of the course and it comes to 30 marks and the computer based test will be for 70 marks and the total score will be 100. The minimum requirement for a pass is 40 in which you have to secure 12 marks in the internal and 28 marks in the external. So the final score should be 40 or above to get a pass in the examination. As I already told you, this is a computer based test and the examination is postponed now and it is due on 31 5 2025 until further announcement by National Testing Agency. So during the time of examination, you must take your hall ticket Aadhaar card and passport size photo with you and this computer based exam will be of our 3 hours duration and for maximum 100 marks and the passing minimum is 40 marks and you will be attending 50 multiple choice questions remember 50 multiple choice questions and each question carries 2 marks all multiple choice questions normally we call it as choose the best answer it will have 4 options out of the 4 options one will be the answer key. Remember, there will be no negative marks and there are no choices. So you have to at attend all the 50 multiple choice questions and to get a pass, a minimum pass, you have to secure at least 20 multiple choice questions correctly. If you complete, you may leave the hall after one and a half hours. So this is the modality for the computer based test and this test you will be appearing the test in a nearest examination center mostly an engineering college where we have more number of computers. Let us now see different types of questions that appear in this course child development underscore education. There are different multiple choice question types which we are going to discuss now in this presentation. The first type is a simple multiple choice question type. You can see you have a stem and you have four options and you have to choose the correct option. Which of the following best describes the difference between growth and development? 
ऑप्शन ए ग्रोथ इज क्वालिटेटिव डेवलपमेंट इज क्वांटिटेटिव ऑप्शन बी ग्रोथ स्टॉप्स आफ्टर मेच्योरिटी डेवलपमेंट इज लाइफ लॉन्ग ऑप्शन सी डेवलपमेंट इज लिमिटेड टू फिजिकल चेंजेस ओनली ऑप्शन डी ग्रोथ इंक्लूड्स सोशियल एंड एमोशनल एस्पेक्ट्स लेट अस चेक द राइट आंसर नाउ द राइट आंसर इज बी ऑप्शन बी ग्रोथ स्टॉप्स आफ्टर मेच्योरिटी एंड डेवलपमेंट इज लाइफ लॉन्ग द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन is a matching type question match the following aspects with the correct type growth slash development you have uh, parameters in column a and column b and you have to match the column a with column b so column a is increase in height maturation of emotional skills weight gain and language acquisition and column b is growth development growth development so you have to match the column a with column b with the given options a b c d and the right answer for the above question is option b a1 b2 c3 and d4 so increase in height is growth maturation of emotional skill is development weight gain is growth and language acquisition is development the third matching type, uh, type question multiple choice question is called as sequencing type question where you have to sequence correct stages now see the question arrange the stages of human development in the correct sequence a childhood b infancy c adolescence d adulthood now you have to identify the correct sequence based on these four options a b c d have you identified let us now check the correct answer the correct answer is option b infancy childhood adolescence and adulthood the fourth type of question multiple choice question is statement type question normally it is called as set based question so you have to read the following statements and you have to choose the correct option statement 1 says growth refers to physical changes like height and weight statement 2 development refers to overall changes including emotional and intellectual aspects now the options are a only statement 1 is correct b only statement 2 is correct c both statements 1 and 2 are correct and d both statements 1 and 2 are incorrect what is the answer let us see the answer the correct answer is c both statements 1 and 2 are correct because growth refers to physical changes like height and weight and development refers to overall changes that includes emotional and intellectual aspects so both the statements are right now let us move to the next type of multiple choice question which is called as assertion and reason type question in assertion you have a statement and there is a reason for it and you have to identify both the assertion and reason are true or false assertion a growth and development are interchangeable terms reason r both represent physical changes only now there are four options given to you option a both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a option b both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation of a option c a is false but r is true option d both a and r are false now let us see the answer for this above multiple choice question the correct answer is d both a and r are false because growth and development are not interchangeable terms and they do not represent physical changes only so the answer is option d the next type of multiple choice question is the multiple answer type questions so you will have uh, five statements and uh, maybe three statements maybe would, have, would would give the correct answer see which of the following are characteristics of development a it is a continuous process b it is limited to physical changes only c it includes emotional and social changes d it stops after adolescence e it is qualitative in nature and you have options a b c d so what is the right answer the right answer is option b a c e only because development is a continuous process development includes emotional and social changes and development is always qualitative in nature the next type of multiple choice question is comprehension passage just go through this comprehension passage growth and development are two important aspects of human life growth refers to the physical changes in the body such as increase in height weight and size it can be measured and observed directly on the other hand 
development refers to the overall changes in a person including emotional social and intellectual changes development is a continuous process and occurs in stages while growth stops after a certain age development continues throughout life both growth and development are influenced by factors like heredity environment nutrition and education now you have to understand the meaning of this passage and based on this passage questions will be asked questions may be direct or indirect now let me give you an example what is the main difference between growth and development option a growth is about physical changes development is about overall changes option b growth continues throughout life development stops early option c growth is emotional development is physical option d growth and development are the same what is the right answer the right answer is option a growth is about physical changes development is about overall changes let me give you another example which factor does not affect growth and development option a heredity option b nutrition option c weather option d education and uh, the answer is option c weather so these are different types of questions which you can expect in the computer based test maybe simple mcq questions you may expect about 25% and other types of question you may expect around 75% for example for 50 multiple choice questions you may expect 12 to 13 questions in simple mcq type and other six types uh, for the balanced 38 questions so my suggestion is my request to you is you have to download the study material which is available at the end of every module and you have to make a booklet of the study material and you have to prepare based on objective type questions so there is no descriptive in this examination so you have to prepare in such a way that you are able to answer all the 50 objective type questions so it is not a tough job it is not a hard job there are people i can quote number of examples where people have secured centum in swayam online course so everything is possible and for previous question papers you can download the previous year question paper from this website link https nta.ac.in downloads go to downloads click the previous year's exam papers put the year 2024 exam type as swayam paper child development b ed and give search so you will find the pdf document of last year examination in the website you can download the pdf document remember the pdf document will contain only the questions and you have to prepare the answers i hope this session would have thrown you a light on how to prepare for the swayam online examination child development underscore education for the january 2025 semester as, as a course coordinator i wish you may your exam be a great one and may you obtain the highest marks i wish you all the best for your examination and love to hear your feedback in the comment section wish you all the best thank you Thank you.